This is a Ducati Panigale, one of the fastest road bikes available, but not a motorcycle that your mother or your partner would probably be, be very happy with you riding. Daniel Kim, it's your bike. You're obviously an enthusiast. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, but you're trying to take some of those advantages of uh, two-wheel riding, uh -huh. but combine them with this more car-like form. Can you describe exactly what we're looking at here? Yes, this is the future of transportation. Um, we're taking uh, the safety and the comfort of a car, integrating that with the romance and the efficiency of a motorcycle. So this is the perfect commuter, uh, not just for the United States and the UK, but also the world. So let's have a little look. And um, this is obviously an early prototype. To yeah. work can, uh, we can even open it up. Yeah, right? let's give um, a little look. So right now there are a lot of cables and wires and computer systems. It, it looks a little bit like the DeLorean from Back to the Future. At the <laughs> Absolutely. I'm guessing uh, that's because this is still a prototype and uh -huh. eventually you'll have yeah. this kind of miniaturized. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at our flux capacitor, basically. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, this is an early stage prototype that we're just kind of uh, getting ready uh, for production. And uh, basically this is stabilized using gyroscopes. like very large tops. And uh, it basically makes it on a tippable motorcycle. So unlike that bike, which I would have to, to balance myself on, this uh -huh. one keeps itself upright all the time. Yeah, this is all the thinking or the balancing for you. Uh, it's basically like a robot kind of motorcycle, but uh, it gets speeds um, up to about 120 miles an hour. Um, your range is around 200 miles per charge. So it's really just all the benefits and the, uh, the range of a car, but with the safety of a car on two wheels. So let's look at how you achieve some of that. If we uh, look at the internals again, mm -hmm. underneath the seat here, these cool. are the two gyroscopes that you use. How do they actually work? What's happening there? Yeah, so there are two gyros that can rotate, can process, and uh, that creates a riding force that uh, keeps the vehicle uh, balanced. So these, this is the gyro here that we're talking about. Yeah, this, is, a, this is it right here. It's just right underneath the seat. And there will be like a kind of a, a way to isolate the between the rider and the interior and the actual gyroscope. Um, but that's uh, battery pack, um, electronics, real hub motor. Um, it's a really innovative uh, new form of vehicle architecture. And it's all enabled by our core technology. And just uh, describe in very basic terms how a gyroscope works. These things are, are constantly spinning. They're big, heavy discs that constantly spin. Mm -hmm. How does that keep a, uh, a vehicle upright? Well, it's a little bit like magic, um, <laughs> like Harry Potter magic, but um, we're just using meat science, meat science exactly, um, and transportation. So it's a nice mixture. And um, basically, there's two large discs that spin, and it's like a top. And that top is you know, like a kid's toy. Yeah, like a kid's toy, time. right? But but on steroids, um, and then you throw robots uh, into the mix, and then you have our vehicle. So uh, how much force do you think this could take? How much of a shove sideways before it would fall? Uh, you could probably get a um, like a uh, Ford Focus at 30 miles an hour, and it would stay upright. Uh, probably so not. a car crashing into the side of it? You know? On the side of it, yeah. And, you know, it's all steel reinforced doors, uh, you know, airbags, uh, seat belt, all the amenities of a car. Uh, but on two wheels. And this is an electric vehicle, so where does the actual drive forwards come from? So the drivetrain is a wheel hub motor, so the actual motor is in the wheel. So, so you can see right too. here, there is a 40 kilowatt motor, uh, 20 kilowatt uh, continuous. So that's this black part actually yeah, inside the middle of the wheel. It's quite a large motor, so you, all the power that you need is right here uh, to get you to work uh, either uh, fast or slow. and. Um, you know, quite a large uh, tire. Uh, this will be a little bit smaller, but a lot of traction here in the front end, uh, in the rear. So uh, you have really all the amenities and the excitement of a, of a motorcycle. Uh, be able to tilt and lean into turns, um, but you also get the safety, crash safety of a car.